two joints and some jungle boogie. Who's better than fucking you on a Monday morning? Uncle Joey here, my main man, Fahin Anwar, a badass fucking comedian from the store that I look at and I go, Jesus Christ, he's a savage. Some nights he's got long hair, some nights he's got a hat on. I don't know who the fuck he is. <laughs> and I got my main man, Lee Syed. How was your weekend, dog? Oh, you! I had dabs last night. I actually went out and was like an actual human being last night. I went to someone's house when we we went to Vicky Pez's and we grilled. Dabs are they? They have dabs now. You don't have to have like the whole rig. They just have like the part that you that you uh, smoke it through, and like they have the torch. I, those those are fun. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why either. I don't even know why the fuck I ask you. Anyway. <laughs> They're fun. Wait, the eyebrows go on fire and you're spitting fucking blood. The only one who's going to burn my eyebrows off is you. You always have the lighter on, like, the highest setting. I don't know how you, like, jerry-rig your lighters. I've never seen lighters. I only fucking like lighters that provide a lot of fire. You know what I'm saying? Those little fucking lighters. Like the butane I, ones? Yeah. Yeah. I know exactly how to juice those things up, like a mini bike. No, he doesn't have a butane one. He has the regular ones. He has no, the, I got the regular ones. The yeah. regular. I know exactly. Uh. Once they get low, I, I got those motherfuckers. That's a low one right there, but this is my travel one. In case the plane goes down, boom, I got a little lighter and shit. You always got to have lighters yeah, on the plane. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't play it by their fucking rules. Were you Fuck ever a them. Zippo guy? What's a Zippo? Oh, one yeah, of those metal, metal ones where you can, you know, the, the top flips up. And it's too much drama. I bought one in high school just to do all the tricks. Yeah, Me too, yeah. 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 yeah, I would YouTube. It was, like, so nerdy just to, like, YouTube how to flip them around. You know, it, I think it's a pain in the ass. I got to take a tube once a week and fill it up. Yeah. God knows who's smoking around me. Next thing you know, my apartment's blowing up. Just give me the fucking blue light of there. 99 cents. Yeah, but it's kind of cool that once you just spark it, it's on. You don't have to hold the thing right. down. You know, it's yeah. classic. It's got advantages. And listen, when I get a blowtorch, I got a blowtorch in my true, truck. Yeah. And you, it's, you know, I don't know. I, I just like these little things. You get rid of them. You throw them away. I mean, those are the gold standard, though. They're so easy yeah, and cheap. I don't want to. You know, people get mad at me. Oh, you, use, you need to use a string. When you smoke marijuana, leave me alone. Oh, you know, the hemp work kind of guy? Yeah, hemp work. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm just trying to put the pieces together, smoke dope. I gave up edibles for Lent. That's it. You know, listen, guys, there's no reason why I should be opening up a show with 1,500 milligrams of THC. I mean, that, that's just fucking animalistic type shit. I came to terms with myself about 10 days ago. I'm like, what am I doing? I went home one night and ate like a fucking another three stars I had in the desk. At one o'clock, I couldn't even go to sleep. Wait, Shit was running through my mind. You so went much. home from a podcast and ate more stars. Like one night, I went home from a podcast <laughs> and I wasn't a, I wasn't tired, so I blasted six hundred more milligrams, like twenty one hundred milligrams. The next morning, I woke up, I couldn't do nothing all day. I was like, God, my kidneys hurt and shit, my gallbladder hurts. I'm like, this has to stop. This has to stop. Yeah. I gotta switch the pills. I gotta do something. I gotta get like a a Puerto Rican fucking pharmacist to hook me up with something just to. The, it's a fucking nightmare. Then you go online. You, you get pills online. Did you know that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm from Canada. And I'm, it takes like a week. Well, you don't need a prescription or anything. They just send you whatever. No, they send you whatever. I, I, I haven't done it, but I heard, like, whenever I go to, like, those porn sites, they have ads for it. Like, the generic Cialis, you can buy it for, like, 10 cents a pill. I think it's just Canadian pharmacies, and they just somehow... I mean, how do you know you're not getting fucked, though? Like, oh, that's yeah, you have no I'm idea. scared of, too. It's a low milligram. They got your address. Next thing they're gonna send you a fucking bomb. I don't need this shit in my life. What happened to the fucking dude in the corner shaking yeah, with scabs yeah. on you, his you face? Like a, you like a brick and mortar, yeah, that shady like a, guy. Listen, that's why I, I mean, for years I held on the medical marijuana mm -hmm. license. They started making good edibles uh -huh. because I always thought that took the suspense out of it. The whole suspense is going to a dealer's house and being all creepy. And going to your car yeah. and hiding in the yeah, trunk. The, the ritual of yeah, the, yeah. and driving home and stopping and getting a six pack and rolling papers and lighters and ice cream. You know, you walking into a store, but now what the fuck? Now, now it's I at your doorstep. Yeah. Like, uh. Now it's at your fucking doorstep. So <laughs> but that took type of, that took a little bit of that patois off, that making your heart beat. That's what you're doing it to be yeah. illegal. You know what I'm saying? So who the fuck knows? What's in your world? Talk to me. What do I got? I don't know, man. Just, you know, stand up, see you out and about. I've been doing that. And then the special coming out, trying to promote that and audition every now and then, you know, same thing. So you grew up in Seattle? Yeah, from Seattle. High school, the whole fucking thing. Yeah, elementary, everything. Were you around back. for grunge? I was. But the I tail was, end? No, I was in like the heyday. Like, uh, but 94. How, how old were you? Three? No, I'm, I'm born in 84. So, so Really? So, yeah, so nine. I was nine. What was that part they would go to Pearl Jam, that big part? What what with the, with the with the metal tubes and shit? 
Wait, what do you mean? What? The, there's the p- poster of, of... Oh, there's like a famous Pearl Jam poster or something? Yeah, and there's, but I went to that park. I, bro, I was on Seattle Heavy from yeah. the U District. Yeah, to, I, I went to University of Washington. No so, shit. Yeah, yeah, I was there a I lot. used to rent the paddle boats. Okay. And go oh, yeah, on Lake Washington. On Lake Washington, Washington yeah. you know me. That's though. awesome. Man. That's awesome stuff. The summers... Seafair? Did you do Seafair? Seafair. Yeah. I went to the fucking <laughs> place to watch the concerts at oh. that gorge. The gorge. Oh, the gorge, yeah. The gorge, yeah. the gorge. Yeah. I did all that shit up there. I was a, I was a starving comic up there. I lived with a stripper, and uh, like you, we got to, we got. To, <laughs> well, I didn't live with a stripper. No, <laughs> I lived with my parents. It was a little more. We got to straight meet, lace. We got to meet meet Ron Reed and, uh-huh. and uh, yeah, I remember Ron. Ron's and great. The other guy, what's it? Carl. Carl Womanhoven. I lived on uh, the beach, uh, a sea beach. What is it? Alkai. Oh, Alkai. Alkai. Oh man, that's that's a dope place you were I at, man. I lived on Alkai when there was Taco Tuesdays up the corner at uh-huh. the biker bar. And what about that uh, chicken teriyaki place you talked about? Yeah, with Josh Wolf. It was right next to Swanee's, bro. It was a chicken teriyaki. It's still there or no? I don't know. It's been twenty years. The Warren. It's a yeah. motherfucker. I can't make a comeback in Seattle because that fucking Warren. But you so know funny, what, man? Yeah. I think it's time to call Greg Powers and Lynn and. <laughs> Get the warrant. Fuck, I want to go visit Ivan Salivary. It would be nice to go back up there and walk around. Yeah, I that like a, it. That was a great little place. It was just one of those places for me that it was just a bad, it was the tail end of my bad luck days. Like, it was the tail end. Like, I went up there, and it was something to test my comedy. Uh-huh. Like, to test my loyalty to comedy. Like What brought you out there? So, were you, you were East Coast dude before that, I right? was a Denver dude. I oh, was Denver in Boulder dude. doing comedy. Uh-huh. Now, in Boulder at the time, here I am trying to, there's different types, there's different types of level of frustration in comedy. You move to LA, you don't get spots, your friends are getting spots. That's one frustration. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The frustration at the time, for me, living in Boulder was, there was no spots. Yeah, it doesn't seem like... It um, was fucking brutal. Monday nights was an Australian bar. Eight people always, drunks. Like a, like a, it wasn't really, they weren't Australians. They were white people, but it was like an Outback type bar. Right. You know, th- Wednesday, Tuesday was the Comedy Works. Wednesday, it was Club 52. And Thursdays was uh, that Mexican place by Burbank, El Torito. You know. That's 16 spots a month. Yeah, that's not much. And that's not much. Yeah. And every once in a while they would say, ah, you were here last week, and that's not guaranteed the comedy works. You know, the clubs didn't really give you guest sets on the weekends, you know? Yeah. So I was frustrated, you know, and I, and I started going on the road, and I went to Michigan, I met a girl, and I went up to Seattle. She was moved to Seattle. I had had enough of fucking Boulder. I was going through a divorce, a thousand things. I said, let me go up there. I mean, I went up to Seattle immediately. I was doing 25 sets a month. Yeah. And getting paid for half of them. We're going in like fucking Marines. You understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.